Hey guys, Jesse again with the second video of the night. Um, this video here, I'm going to post uh, a video of the Saturday Night Evening Post magazines that I have. Um, I've had these for quite some time. I've had them for a few years now. I've had them put away. Um, but I wanted to show these because there's a few in here. I mean, you've, there's a few images in here. Iconic. It, uh issues or paintings in here or drawings of uh so i'll get started from some of the older ones that i have to some anyways here's the first one i have saturday evening post from april 16th 1910 here they used to be five cents a copy and then this magazine is i mean this run was quite old i mean it started in 1728 by Benjamin Franklin and gradually at the turn of the century here and then they started becoming magazines before they just used to be like sheets of information and stuff. Uh, and then right after the turn of the century it started becoming like a magazine, full-blown magazine. Um, the ones you see here are the ones that I have personally like, either art, I mean art-wise mostly, but um, there's a a ton of baseball uh different covers uh but i'm only buying or bought the ones that i really liked for instance this one here this one's uh the illustrator is anton otto fisher he was like the norman rockwell of the early 1900s throughout um german artists Born in, what was it, 1882, and then died in 1962. So, I mean, he worked um, at the Post since 1910, he started. So this is one of his first covers. And he worked there for 48 years, so till about 1958. Um... Like I said, he was like the Norman Rockwell of the early to mid-1900s. Uh, and his work is just, it's amazing the way when you see it. Reason I got into these was for the artwork. And bonus, you get all the advertisements, the stories, everything from that time period. So... This is the first one I have. You can see the detail. See the glove. The uniforms. Him sliding. I mean, it's the shadow. Of, it just, I really like these. Here, we have one from April 23rd, 1955. This cover here, this is based on a game against the Phillies at Ebbets Field. Um, this one's called The Sleepy Inning. If you see here, you'll notice they're in the ninth, going to the ninth with the tight score, 6-6. Six, six. And it just so happens that his son falls asleep. So if you notice there. Got Jackie. So, tight game. He's got to go. Baby falls asleep. And if you notice here, this was also intentional. Here, you'll see this guy here wearing the Phillies hat at Ebbets Field. So that was one thing that he kind of threw in there. Um, you know. This guy eating this hot dog, making his face. The artist for this one is Earl Mayen. And there's he also worked here and he has different covers. Of that. I have another one, I believe, in here by him. So like I said, these have a lot of great stories, advertisements. I'll show one right before at the end. 
Here we have one of Yogi. This one's na uh, also by Earl Mayhem. This one's April 20th, 1957. And you got him here catching the, or going for the fly against Boston. Uh, story behind this one, he wanted to catch Yogi here. But this image he had already, but he didn't have one of the crowd. So what he did, he got his friends to go over and sit here and make faces and make gestures and all that stuff. Capture that and then tie it in together to make this cover. So if you see the crowd, they all got different facial expressions. See this guy here. She seems like she's not into it at all. So there's that one. Another great cover. Here we have Stan the Man. Now this one, this one's by a different artists. This one's by John Falter. This one was printed in May on May 1st, 1954. This is just a great depiction of him signing autographs for the crowd here. Now, what the artist wanted to do with this one was just kind of pay tribute to Stan the Man. For being the ball player that he was. Not only did he always come through for the Cardinals, but he mentioned once that uh, also because everywhere he went, every ballpark he went, even the fans, the opposing fans, would also cheer for him. So there you go. Here you see. Great shot there. Here's another one you guys might recognize. I know during the holidays and stuff, you 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 get to see these, I like mugs, puzzles, and stuff like that. So that's kind of what kind of guided me to to these in the first place. Here we have the Cubs. Same thing here. This one's from September fourth, nineteen forty eight. Seems like they just, uh, there's no way they were winning this game. And again, always these background, the crowd in the background is always making these funny faces. So very iconic issues here. Next one up you'll recognize, this is probably one of the more popular ones. This one's called The Bottom of the Six. This is a Norman Rockwell. April 23rd, 1949. This is also a cover with the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates and the Brooklyn Dodgers. As you can see here, they're playing at Ebbets Field as well. Dog, uh, Pirates are up 1-0. And now it's getting rained out. Very popular uh, issue here. This is my favorite one, so you know, this far for these. I still got a few more to go, but this one's probably my favorite. Soon enough, I'm gonna have to get these framed up and put up on the wall. And then this one here, last but not least, this one's called The Rookie, also by Norman Rockwell. This one's on March 2nd, 1957. Here you have a shot of the rookie coming in. 
And pretty much you got Ted Williams there, almost on his way out. Looks tired there. So what happened with this one here, Norman Rockwell was trying to find a somebody to, you know, find a a model for his uh for the rookie. So what he did is he went to the local high school, sat in the cafeteria and waited, you know, just looking at the kids walking in and out. So he found this guy walk in and he said, told him, would you like to be on the cover of the post? To give him his idea and everything. And um, yeah, he was excited he did it. Um, as you can see here, when he asked him um, to see if he could uh, put him on here. It was in 1956. So when this issue came out, he was already in the army. So what happened there is his mother called him, told him that he was on the cover of the Post magazine. So what he ended up doing was going AWOL. Ended up buying all the magazines that he could find. Came back to where, you know, where he was at. And, uh, his commanding officer was telling, you know, asking him, so, you know, where'd you go? What happened? He was already going to get in trouble. He told him, I'm on the cover of the post. Walked back to his sleeping quarters. Following uh, that same night, his commanding officer came back with one of these magazines and asked him, can you sign it for me? So that's kind of his story here. Um... His name was Scotty Safford. Yeah, Scotty Safford was his name. And he's still alive today, I believe. And another thing about this, the actual painting of the rookie here uh, sold in 2014. And it sold for $22.5 million for this original art. So over here we have this sample here. This is the one I can afford. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. I have another one of these. So I'll show you this one from 1955. Just so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So let's open some of these up. So as you can see, here we have old Pennzoil advertisements. We have a lot of automobile advertisements. Here we have Oldsmobile. Here we have a story about, I guess this guy uh, put an actual camera video recorder in his car at, back in 1955 or 57, no, 55. And uh, that was this story. I guess his friend got run over by a careless driver. He decided he was going to catch, you know, reckless drivers. So he decided to install this camera in there and you can see he had it in the de in the by the windshield there and here are images of him recording other cars so I mean for the time I mean that's pretty crazy here we have another depiction yeah. Yankees picture right there it says April 26 54 Bob Graham on his way to his 17th victory of the season. So you get stories like this, which are great. Here's another one of, uh, they're saving lives in Navajo land. So you got the Navajo, a story on them here. Here I have a Texaco advertisement. Which is pretty cool. You don't see stuff like this anymore. Here we have a GMC Camion. Just great pictures. More cars here. 
somebody by Fisher GMs. Here I have Zippo lighters. How about a camcorder here? <laughs> video camera a lot of history in these you got Boeing and here we have an l and m cigarette advertisement And another movie camera. Here we have the boy uh, trying to earn some money to get one. Doing some yard work probably. <laughs> that or puts the family right in the movies. Not the Kodak. So there it is, guys. I wanted to post this one for a while. Great covers. Great pictures inside. Stories advertisements and they look great framed up i just got to get to it so other than that there's this video and hope you guys have fun and a safe fourth of july thanks for watching guys